everyone so in this part of the video what i'll be doing here in this uh throughout the entire video i'll be walking you guys on how to make uh let's go to this let's say if i were to go to this particular blog here as you can see all this thing all this actually is not uh dynamic because it's, it's just a dummy data this is just directly coming from from the hard coded part of the code for example let's say if i go to the code here and i go to the blog and just go here and just move it here as you can see here inside text uh this particular component you can see all of this data is already like pre-written so you don't so it's basically it's not uh it's not what we're gonna do here so what you're gonna do i'm just gonna select all of this and what you're gonna do here let me just go until the end so yeah i think it's pretty long here and as you can see until here you just need to uh, comment it or if you want to remove it it's also fine perfectly fine because they yeah i mean we are not going to use this data I mean, data by the way so what we're going to do we're going to use here instead is we're going to use the dynamic data that comes from strapi so what you're going to do here just going to copy this uh, statement instead of block title i'll be just going to name it block content and the reason is because uh, let me just Log content here so let's go to our strapi and then let's look for what is the content that we have actually uh, placed in our uh, I mean strapis for block one so let me just go to strapi and local post uh, 337 and let's go to the content manager and look look for what what is the block content that we have placed and let's go for block uh this first block here which is how to code click on it and let's see what could okay so you can see we just placed open your pc and type hello world so i mean that's that's the thing so let's give it a save and that's that's what it should appear once we are able to save it and and there you go that's how you are able to do and one more thing is that the next thing in the next part of the video is all about how to make this blog content page to be to be to look like an actual blog page as you can see this is not yet a blog you can't just publish your code like this in this case because it's, there's no much not not much of uh, css going on or not much of uh how do you say structuring going on so there needs to be something that we can look like that, that should look like good looking uh, that should be uh, help us to look make this website look like a better looking ui as a blog so how do we do that? So there's certain, certain things we need to add. And, let's, and before that, let's go to uh, actual blog. For example, medium.com where I usually I'll just go here just to look for blogs that are really uh, highly, uh, uh, how do you say, like have good engagement. So in that way, we are able to learn something or more from here. So you can see this is, this is the first blog I just uh, clicked. And as you can see here, as you can see this is some code here but let's not code for any that requires coding because that's let's go for something that's here something that's like why i use notion to manage my work and life okay this looks pretty okay so what i can do here is that i'm just going to copy this entire page and make it just going to transfer it to my uh to, to our blog here so how do i do this? just need to just copy one by one like example this is work and life and I'll be placing it inside log title because this is the title and this gonna hit save. The next thing instead of instead of copying the image like this, what we can do here, we can actually just uh, select all something like this and 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 then you select along together with the image and, and we just go on until the end of the page and okay so until tag we just stop it here until tag here and just copy gonna copy everything and let's see if i place it right here as you can see here all the text image are not actually uh, i mean good looking by the way so as you can see here all the image have no have no uh, like happen to be the same image and, and all so how do we do that is that we need to make sure that we have a markdown method like this as you can see this is preview mode I click on markdown it should be having it should be showing the actual uh the styling of this particular uh blog so if i look if i go to markdown mode and as you can see this is currently currently this is the preview mode by the way 
I mean, this is this is the sorry, this is the markdown mode. As you can see, we we can actually do whatever we we would like. For example, uh, let's say in this case, we would like to add images. For example, this is the image here. So I would like to save as save this image for now. So I'm just gonna save it in here, and I'll be calling this image as uh, right after what is Notion. What is Notion is here, and I'll be calling it. I'll be calling this image right here. Image, uh, add more assets. Well, you can actually add image from URL as well, so that that would be perfectly easier. So copy image link. I'm just gonna paste it right here. And uh, next. And upload one asset to library. And I'll be selecting this, and I'll be clicking finish. And there you go. This is the this is the image, by the way. This is the link that how it should supposed to look like. And let's see if I click save. Let's see if I if we are able to run this particular code. And there you go. I mean, currently, as you can see, the this particular image. It's not actually being shown as an image or it's just a plain text here which we shouldn't be having and let's see if we go to our preview mode this image is able to be seen so that's the reason why we are we're not able to see it inside our uh, place here and, and the reason is being because of uh, we have not installed the markdown react uh, function uh, as a plugin by the way where we need to have inside our react project so that so that we're able to make this uh, markdown language to convert to an html uh, language that that can that the html can be uh, uh, can understand so how do we do that since just to go go to our uh, yeah our project page let's for now let's uh, let's switch off our server for a while then hit batch and what we can do here we need to install npm install React Markdown. So let me just uh, open this tab a bit. Just okay. So you can see here npm install React Markdown. So I'm just gonna install it like this. So this is basically the the plugin that we're gonna use for actually making uh, making sure that this content is able to be uh, to be structured in a way that HTML can be read. Because Markdown is actually a language uh, as well. So let's go to our main code here. As you can see, this is since we're using our since since we need to use our our Markdown React Markdown plugin here. So we need to install it like this. For example, here I've already I mean, this has already been here React Markdown. So it's coming from React Markdown slash library slash React Markdown. So I'll be copying this the name of this, and what I'll be doing here, I'll be, I'll be going to uh, text, and I'll be opening a React Markdown component like this, and also there's a closing. So I'll be just taking this closing one and placing it after this content. So I'll be clicking on yes, and sorry, save all. And next thing is let's go to our our. Uh, server and let's say in npm start just to start the server and let's go to our browser let's make sure we are able to come here and let's give it a check and there you go you are able to display currently you are only able to display the image and the rest of the text are all like uh, how do you say it's not structured and they are all like doesn't happen to be look like a blog and so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna structure the, uh, I mean, image is done. We're gonna, we need to structure this. I mean, this text here. As you can see here. Let's give it a comparison. Let's how 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 does a, a block supposed to look like in comparison with what we are doing? So let me just go back. And as you can see here, the block has a lot of uh, actual spacing. And this uh, this particular words notion is actually bold and big. So how do we do that? So let's go to our content manager. So let me just uh, yeah, let me just zoom this, and this what is notion should be uh, bold. At the same time, this should be a bit bigger than it's supposed to look like. So I'll be going with H4, and uh, let's give it a save and let's check does it work. 
there you go. It just yeah, it's just uh it just it, it just became bold. Of course we need some space here. As you can see there's some space uh that's going on here. So what are you gonna do here? And next thing is I would like to have uh also structure the rest of the content also. For example, this is the this is the here. And let's see if I would like to give some space here. So that that's one way we can do can give some uh, space here. Just need to go and search for HTML. This particular there's this particular term where we can use it to just to give some uh, spacing between lines or the spacing between letters. So that's it's called uh, it's a keyword. It's like it's, uh, as you can see here, this is the keyword that we're looking for. It's called uh, end and nsp and followed by semicolon so this is the one that we're going to use so we're going to take this and we're placing it we'll be placing it right here just to give some spacing and something like this and hit save and let's go to And there you go. You are able to have spacing between uh, text as in paragraph when you are able to use this particular term. And that's one of it. And let's go. Let's. There's one more thing that we should be doing is uh, as you can see here, the blog is two is taking the whole uh, containers uh, frame. So which which we wouldn't want it to do that. What we can do right? We can actually. I mean, make it a bit more smaller. I mean, the the frame of this block content. Let's make it a bit more smaller because it's, I think it'd be better if we are able to uh, make it a bit more smaller. As you can see, just to make sure that it's able to uh, look nice. So let's go to. Uh, as you can see here, we are actually taking the container, and this container is actually is the main container. And within that container, we have a content with padding Excel here. So this is what we can actually uh, change and we can actually manipulate so that we are able to make it look nice. So how do we do that? Let's let's go to uh, padding content Excel, go to definition. So as you can see, there are a couple of uh, uh, other content with padding, content with vertical padding, LG, this is LG. So this is all the tailwind uh, structures that we're using. For example, max widescreen Excel. So Excel is the extra large, so which uh, which we are currently using, and let's look for something that is less smaller than extra large, which is just large. So that's what we're going to use. For example, content with padding LG. So once I have copied this, I would I would like to go to block page again, and yeah, before that I need I need to make sure I need to, I need to call this I call the uh, block uh, content with LG. So as you can see here, there are a couple of content with this content with padding Excel is called, but LG is not called. So I'll to go comma and just want to paste it right here. So right now, what I'll be doing, I'll be copying this and I'll be uh, going to content with padding Excel and I'll be selecting both opening and closing. At the end of the day, I'm just going to paste it on top of it. Okay. So there you go. So let's give hit save and let's go to our browser and there you go you have your blog to be uh, structured in a way it looks more neat and should be better in this way and you can do the same the way how I just taught you on how are we able to space how are we able to line break and the image and also and there's a couple more things you can actually do from here and thank you guys for watching this particular video since that's the end of it and i would like to uh, let you know that you are able to uh, you have already made it through the entire course but the next step will be uh, deploying but there's some there's some uh, couple of errors that i've gone through with when while deploying because there are there's no such thing as the best platform to deploy your project and uh, i'm still researching on how what is the best deploying uh, uh, platforms that can be used to deploy this back end as well as the front end of this project. So, until then, let's meet in another video where I'll be walking you guys through in another awesome project. Thank you guys for watching till the end. Thanks.